Iron acids and proton pump inhibitors safe to use long term? No. If you're someone that takes Tums or a proton pump inhibitor like Protonix and you are taking it for reflux, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Megan Taylor and I'm a functional medicine practitioner. I help you simplify healing and create a life that restores and optimizes your God-designed body by getting to the root cause. In this video, we will be discussing reflux and the root causes that could be at play and the dangers of taking drugs like Tums and proton pump inhibitors. When I used to work in a clinic as a nurse practitioner, I would constantly see patients who were being discharged from the hospital and they would come to me and they would be on a drug called Bertonix. Typically in the hospital, this drug is commonly prescribed during their stay to protect their stomach. When I was in clinic and I would see these patients who would ask me for this drug that I did not prescribe for them, I would ask them why they were on it. And they always said, for my reflux, I take this for my reflux. And so I just want to spend a little time in this video talking about the dangers of taking a drug like Protonix and Tums long term and the actual root causes of GERD that can be at play. I also noticed when I worked in family practice that a common practice is to prescribe a drug like Protonix when a patient comes in and complains of GERD. And despite the number of research out there regarding the importance of stomach acid and the dangers of long-term use of proton pump inhibitors, this is still common practice today. So I started asking questions. I started asking why and what causes GERD in the first place? What causes someone to experience reflux? And when I landed on the answer, I was stunned and I started to educate my clients on what was causing the roots of their GERD and how to reverse it in a natural way and they saw results. They saw results and I also saw results in my own life. Now, before I share with you what we did to heal it naturally, I need you to know that anything in this video is not medical advice. Anything shared in this video is meant for educational purposes only and it is very dangerous if you just abruptly stop taking a drug like Protonix or if you're someone who uses a drug like Tums daily or another antacid daily, it is very, very important that you do not just stop taking it abruptly. In order to effectively come off of a drug like an, like an antacid and not experience symptoms, you have to start by healing your gut lining and we'll talk about that later. So please know before moving forward, anything shared in this video is for educational purposes only. Okay, so with that disclaimer, let's talk about why these drugs are given in the first place. Typically when you experience reflux, a drug like Protonix or a drug like Tums is recommended and what it does is it suppresses the stomach acid, which can be a good thing if you struggle with something like an ulcer or if you struggle with something like H. pylori and you have damage to your gut lining and you need to suppress that acid for a little while in order to allow your gut lining to heal. The problem is this isn't why these drugs are being given. These drugs are being given to suppress your stomach acid because there is a myth going around that too much stomach acid is why you have pain. But that's simply not true. You do not have pain because you have too much stomach acid. You have pain because your stomach acid is getting into the wrong place. Let's talk about how that happens. Your God Designed Stomach produces a few different digestive secretions and one of those is called hydrochloric acid or also known as HCl. It is one of nature's strongest acids. If you were to get this acid on your skin, it would immediately start breaking down your skin and it would hurt because it's in the wrong place. It's meant to be in your stomach to digest things like meat and other foods to help your body absorb the nutrients from those foods. You have a muscular tunnel known as a lower esophageal sphincter. And a good way to picture your sphincter is to picture it as a fist. Your sphincter is meant to close off your esophagus from your stomach and to keep food and digestive secretions in the right place. So ideally when you're eating, you want the sphincter to open and allow the food in. And when you're done eating, you want it to close. Ideally, you want the sphincter to open and close tightly and operate appropriately because if it doesn't, it allows food to travel back up and digestive secretions to travel back up. And that is when you get pain. When your sphincter is too loose instead of tight, that is when acid reflux can cause pain because your digestive secretions will begin to flow back up. It does not mean that you have too much stomach acid and suppressing the stomach acid is not fixing the problem. You need stomach acid to absorb nutrients from your food. You need stomach acid to fight off bad bacteria in your gut. And so when you take a drug that suppresses the stomach acid, you'll feel better for a little while, but then you're causing a lot of issues in the long run. 
It leads to things like vitamin B12 deficiency, it leads to osteoporosis, it worsens mental health disorders because you need vitamins and minerals to work on your neurotransmitters in your brain. And so it leads to a ton of different diagnoses that often lead to more pills. And so what can we do to prevent this? Well, we need to look at the root. Why is your sphincter allowing your stomach acid to go into the wrong place? And so there are many reasons for this, and we'll talk about that in the next video. But just know the answer is to never suppress your stomach acid, because when you do that and you're left on them long term, it leads to many issues in the long run.